Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews. I'm your host, that's Spice, and today we are looking at Revenge of the Creature, released in 1955. Revenge of the Creature stars John Ager, Laurie Nelson, John Bromfeld, Nestor Paiva, Brandon Rhodes, Dave Willock, Robert Williams, Robert Hoy, Brett Halsey, Rico Browning, Tom Hennessy, and Clint Eastwood. Revenge of the Creature was directed by Jack Arnold. As most of you know, if you've been watching my previous reviews, I love Creature from the Black Lagoon. It's one of the very few movies on my channel that has gotten a perfect review from me. Now, Revenge of the Creature is by the same director, and he does direct um, in a very similar manner on this. He does a very good job directing this story. Equally as good as the original in, in a lot of respects. This time, Rico Browning again returns as the gill man while he's in the water. And his design looks pretty good underwater for the most part. But when he is on land, when he is played by Tom Hennessy, he just something about his design, the way they changed his design for the land looks of his character just doesn't look as good. And the overall dark darkening of the gills and, and look of the um, creature, it just doesn't work for me. I liked him better whenever he was a lighter color. Um, and even though it's in black and white, you can tell that there's something different with the color as far as this because he is darker in Revenge of the Creature than he was in the uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Um, but other than the, the look, I mean, the, the performance, uh, Tom Hennessy doesn't do bad playing the Gill Man on land. Um, and of course, Rico Browning is excellent as always for the underwater sequences. You know, John Ager um, is a competent, good actor. He plays the character of Professor Cleet Ferguson in this. And Laurie Nelson is as beautiful as... Julie Adams was in the original, and she's playing the character of Helen Dobson. She is uh, really good in this, um, probably better than John Ager is. But um, the only returning actor we get in this film is Nestor Paiva, reprising his role as Captain Lucas, which is cool because I liked his. Uh, early uh, Sala style performance and he gives an equally good performance in Revenge of the Creature. I hope you ain't going to blow up my boat, Mr. Johnson. Like my wife, she's not much, but she's all I have. Don't worry. <laughs> There's just enough dynamite in these cans to stun anything below the surface. But yeah, it's a shame that we couldn't have gotten um, a couple of the uh, other actors from uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon to come back and reprise the roles. I know um, Richard Denning couldn't have reprised his role because his character got killed in the previous film, but uh, Richard Carlson would have been more believable here, um, just reprising his role instead of bringing in John Ager to play a different character in this. But uh, it's it's not it's not that bad there. Um, but the, uh, the, the big thing about this film that it's gotten uh, more in recent 
you know, memory and times has been um, the fact that in a scene with uh, John Ager as Professor Cleet Ferguson, his uh, lab technician named Jennings comes in and uh, he is, of course, played by a young Clint Eastwood. Doc, would you come here a minute? Sure. Oh, come on, boy. Oh. Doc, didn't you say that among the lower animals there were no natural enemies as long as they were well fed? Yeah, something like that. Well, maybe so, Doc, but there were four rats in there when I changed my lights. Now there's only three. And it's such a different type of role than you've ever seen Clint Eastwood play because he is... He's playing a bit of a klutz and a bit of a doofus. It's my considered opinion that rat number four is sitting inside that cat. Are you sure you fed them all this morning? Sure, I always feed them. I... How'd he get in here? <laughs> you would never think those words about Clint Eastwood. But the scene speaks for itself. But... The capture of the creature and bringing him to a SeaWorld uh, style location is, uh, it's just, ah. and then him breaking free and causing a bunch of havoc. Um, it, it works good on, on paper, but like I said, the, the redesign on the creature, I don't know why they did a redesign on the creature. I mean, maybe this... Uh, creature costume that they created for this one was more easy to work with with the actors because I rem you know I have heard all sorts of bad stories about how hard that uh, initial outfit was on our original actors Rico Browning and Ben Chapman could easily see why Ben Chapman didn't come back to reprise his role. He seemed to have a really rough time on um, Creature from the Black Lagoon because he was on land, so you know he was he was in this hot outfit in the heat and burning up in that in that costuming. So the costume suffers in this sequel. Um, but overall, it's not a bad follow-up to the original film. It just sucks that the only character we get returning is uh, Captain Lucas. Um, but it was good to see him back. Um, I would give Revenge of the Creature. I'd give this film an 8.5 out of 10. It would probably be a 9.5 if the costume had been the same one from the original film. But the change to this darker uh, look and something about the eyes on the, on the face just doesn't seem right on it. So... Um, but yeah. But what do you guys think? What do you think of Revenge of the Creature? Do you agree with my review? Let me know in the comments down below. And as usual, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Because it really does help my channel out a lot. And as usual, I mean, I've been saying it in these past few videos, but... This is not the last of my Universal Monsters videos. So, if you're enjoying these, stick around. There's more to come. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.